Gosh, what is this? Can't tell if I got something on there or not. I've been work. Oh, no. been working on something for a minute. Look. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Oh, what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Man, that was a crazy yo. Wasn't it, Frederico? You want out of there? All you do, big dog, huh? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Y'all have been asking about Fred, uh, asking about his health and his hind legs. I will be doing an update on Fred's health here soonish. Oh, that sounds horrible. All the mud that these bad boys throw everywhere. Yeah, it hurts. But today we're magnet fishing. Thank goodness, right? Y'all have been loving the videos and I really, really want to thank y'all for letting me know. Today it's dad and I. Uh, he's already down on the dock. Y'all know he beats me down there. He always wants to get a heads up on you, boy. Oh, but today I want to show y'all them uh, gill goggles. These are the uh, sunglasses that I've been uh, wearing for quite some time now. These are a Guggen product as well as the corduroy flat bill. Oh yeah. Brad here. You guys are always asking me, Bobby, what type of sunglasses do you wear? Literally all the time. The old gill goggles. I love them. I will link all the Guggen products down in the description below. Use code Bobby at checkout to save yourself some jack. But I'm gonna grab the old bucket. We're ready to roll. Boy, howdy, it is windy today, y'all. I uh I got a cover over the camera to try to break most of the wind, but I just want to say my piece before we get into it. I am sorry if the wind is bad. I'm going to do my best for y'all. Come on, Fred. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Look, he loves the magnet fishing. It gets him outside, and the magnet fishing is great for uh, obedience training for Fred. I make him heal most of the time and set and he mines really well. So this is good for Frederick. If y'all have been enjoying Fred on all of the magnet fishing videos, give us a thumbs up right meow. Find anything yet? Been waiting. You've been waiting? Oh, you haven't even got started? You just been waiting on me? I just been waiting. I, I, I want to be fair about things. Oh, you want to be fair about things? I was just going to let you get a heads up on me. Hopefully you caught something by now. We haven't uh, been to this dock for quite some time. Now, y'all know uh, we love our fishing docks because fishing docks, they get a lot of traffic on them. And uh, how many different docks would you say that we magnet fish a year? Probably a hundred. Oh, at least. At least a hundred. Last year was a, quite a bit when we went to the little Marion Lake. Yeah. We were just laced with fishing docks. Yeah, so a lot of these uh, docks y'all have seen but I promise you, you probably haven't seen this one for about a year. So we're gonna give her a go. Frederick, place, place, right here, place. Good dog, sit, sit, good, good boy. Usually I'll just make him sit for just a little bit and he can get off and prance around. Look, he's happy dog. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be deep. I remember this dock, it's deep out there. I think I'm gonna start right here. Drop her in. Pretty shallow up here though. Here we go, we are off to the races, y'all. The horses are out of the gate. Yeah, it gets deep pretty darn quick. I am going to go quite a ways for quite some time before I pull my magnet up unless I feel something hook onto it. That's what uh, a lot of you guys are beginner magnet fishermen out there and there's not a lot of talent to it but the more you do it you kind of find the tricks and right out of the gate uh, don't waste your time pulling up your magnet a bunch unless you think you need to. Uh, just being curious and pulling it up a bunch kind of just wastes your time to be quite honest with you so I'm gonna go and make a lap around the entire dock see if we can pull something up Ooh. whoa 
Huh? Yeah, it feels like there's something. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I was hooked onto something there. Right here. Okay. We got we got us something down here, boys. I'm gonna pull it up and check. There's something down there that me and dad are already hooking onto. Ooh, look at that. Lots of rust. A brand new hook. Look at that guy. Oh yeah, brand new hook. That's a good hook. Literally brand spanking new. Look, haven't even cut the film yet and Fred's still sitting. Good boy, come on. You can get down. Good dog. Got some fish in line with another hook. And what's this? That is part of a chain. Nothing special. Lots of hooks. Drug it and snagged it, I think. You're going to have to. All right, Dad, come over here. I think I got it pretty good. You better get down there and ready to grab it. Because I don't know what it is, and I'm dragging it up, and it is extra, extra heavy. I hope I can pull it up here. Oh, my God, it's heavy. Like, real heavy. Really, really heavy. Wait, oh, my. Uh, not as heavy as that picnic table but it's heavy here it comes oh my god oh it just broke loose it just broke loose right there at the top of the deal no i'm gonna have to try to resnag it oh no i drug that thing from all the way out there all the way up here and it let go right at the end. Gosh. <sighs> Come on. We can do it again. Come on. It's right there. Is Darn it real magnetic? Or? I don't know. Darn it. Oh, I'm on it again. Man, get ready. Man, I hope I can get it close. Oh, man, it's... Come on, baby. Come on. We might, if this don't work, we're gonna have to get both magnets and try both magnets. Oh, come on. Don't bump it. Oh, that's a big old piece of wood. Is that a Christmas tree? I don't know. <laughs> don't get wet. I don't know how I got it hooked. Oh, oh. Look at everything on it. Uh oh. It's got yep, everything look, on it's it. got bricks on it. Yeah. <laughs> look at the lure. Okay, yeah, here. Pull it up. One, two, three. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Okay, yeah. pick the lures off of it at least right there. Pick those lures off and we'll put it back. Now, what this is, it obviously has the bricks tied around it. This is some, uh, this is some ar artificial, uh, what do you call it? Fishery stuff. <laughs> uh, like if you throw Christmas trees in, uh, like we talked to the park ranger the other day here, he said there's not much uh, vegetation and structure. So they uh, do this to uh, provide some better fishing and structure for the fish. So whenever we do this, we just pick the lures off of it and put it right back. Look how I snagged it. Look. All, the all right, pull this out. There. Pull that. Pull the. Here, I got that. Unhook it. Good. Yep. Okay. There we go. There, it's a win-win situation. It goes right back in the water. We don't make the fishermen mad that made it, because uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to pull anything like that out. And we get to pluck some uh, lures off of it. What'd you come up with? I don't know what that is. What's that lure? Well. Yeah, what's that? That's a popper of some sort. 
An old popper. That's a nice one too. Check her out. Nice one. Got some extra weights and hooks. Yep. There we go. Bucket material. Man, that was heavy. That was heavy. I thought Woo. something big metal out there. Doing the old throw method already, huh? Yeah, there, I think there's another Christmas tree full of presents down right in there. Uh, boy, I have the sniffles today bad. Anything on there? Nada. My goodness. I was snagging something right here just a minute ago. I'm going to try to get it again. So what I'm doing now, I'm throwing out and I'm dragging it across and trying to snag stuff. Well, I just threw it out all the way over there. Now I got my line underneath the dock. Times this little technique can get dangerous. You can lose your magnet pretty easily. I've had good and bad luck trying this, but heck, gotta be worth a shot, right? So yeah, my rope is going underneath the dock all the way across. You gotta make sure before you do this, guys, that uh there isn't pillars going all the way down where you could get your magnet stuck on this is a floating dock so i know that there shouldn't be too much i should be getting stuck on down there oh i let go i don't know what that was there's something right there let's see if we got anything from underneath the dock a hook again and a swivel got a hook a swivel what do you got oh good little jig that's a nice one there's another christmas tree over there is there you just yep. plucking lures off yep. of it yeah goodness you got a mess of hooks on your magnet one Look at two that. three four hooks a bread wrapper and you just pulled it all the way underneath the dock i bet you all those just fell through the cracks it must have because this is well i just did the same and it definitely feels like i got something on here yep look barely hooked big old limb again okay nothing on it got something on there you got something heavy do you uh. <laughs> you're on it did somebody use this for a sinker yeah or did somebody just throw that in i don't know that reminds me of something Bodie would do yeah. he used to throw in rocks in the yeah. water plunk who knows? It's been in there for, I mean, doesn't actually look too bad. It's a one and seven eighths inch ball. One and seven eighths? Hell, that's usable. Usable for a sinker? Yeah, maybe a big old. That's crazy. I don't know if someone will be using that as a sinker, Dad, but. Somebody just threw it in there, I guess. Well, that's sweet. About Best eight. find of the day so far. You've been on it, man. Caught eight foot of water. Eight foot, yeah, it's deep. Well, there we go. You guys got to smash the old thumbs up button for dad you're doing the work today i might have caught the tree but you caught the keeper oh boy howdy we've been here for quite some time now what do you think we've been here for 45 minutes or About 45 minutes. oh look at that oh yeah boy got the first one of his my first jig of the day look how old that is dad that jig yeah, that was a little bit old. That's Tell old. Them. Oh, what do you got? Oh, yeah. What do you got? Like he's freaking out. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. We both got something. What'd you get first? Trick or treat. Oh, what a beauty. Good find. Why do they have weights on a... It's kind of like a deep diver because of yeah. that nose on there. You don't need weights. Why do they have weights on that bad boy? on a diving crankbait <laughs> make it dive deeper i don't know well dude that's oh, a keeper I like it. nice look what i, I like got it. i got two old ones it's a oh, blade bait i like the blades I, I collect those blades that's an old old blade bait look at yeah. it yeah got the brass fittings and then this here i don't know that is really really that's yeah, old that's a treble hook on the end of it look at that yeah i don't think i've seen one of those that's got a treble hook on the back a little lure huh. usually those blades are on something like that yep well there we go that was out of nowhere that was good that's a nice one 
bucket material goodness look at that <laughs> those are old now i'm finding the old ones oh yeah i am now my technique is throwing out pulling straight back throwing out 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 and just covering area throwing out sorry about the wind y'all those are two really old baits definitely not reusable there we go i'm guessing a lot of people cast out right here so that's what i'm just kind of imitating throw straight out i'll pull it back nice and slow and then i'll go here then here then here same thing over here and just cover the ground dad almost lost his whole rope and magnet i wish i was filming it that was the funniest thing he threw it and the the rope's going like this getting ready to go over and <laughs> he's trying to stop it that was the funniest thing i've seen in a while my yeah. nerves are still shaking <laughs> almost lost it well i guess i'll keep the camera rolling pull this up see if we got something from out yonder I'm getting a lot of baits this way which is fine with me baits are cool you guys got to drop a comment down below what's the coolest thing to find magnet fishing now i know look the knives the guns all that that's entertaining don't get me wrong i love watching that stuff but what do you guys enjoy finding how many how many of you actually magnet fish drop a comment down below that's what i kind of want to know no all right come on friend where you at dude where <laughs> where are you at what are you doing man oh you're scared of the swinging magnet that's what it is come on buddy yeah here's our next dock of the day that's some trash probably wind blew it in here we go looks like someone already caught look at that someone already drug a lamb up here yeah that's a, that's yeah yeah there's fishing line all over it well here we are this dock we have caught some really cool stuff off before it's like i said it's been a year since we've been here so let's give her a go well here we go starting off in the corner up here so now i'm going to work myself around we have caught some really cool stuff we caught some nets some hand nets before uh, i think a fishing pole before maybe even a couple fishing poles off this dock check that out first one of these this year what do you think it is dad first one of the year First one of the year. First one of the year. Well, it can't be a pull tab or a pop, bottom top. Can top. Yeah. <laughs> we always find a ton of can tops. Oh, let's go take skull can. Skull can, yeah, the and skull cans. We find a bunch of them. The end of it. Look yep. how deteriorated that yeah, is. Yeah, look at that. Old stringer. Getting trash out of the ponzo, that's good. Yeah. Gosh, what is this? Can't tell if I got something on there or not. I've been work. Oh, no. been working on something for a minute. Look. <laughs> oh. And I thought I won. Wow. Look at that. That's not bad. What is that? It, it's a little rusty. It's got some rust on it. What? Uh, it is. What kind of reel? A Shakespeare reel. It was like a Walmart special. It's an ugly stick. An ugly stick. Shakespeare ugly stick. I've never had an ugly stick. I'll be darned. That's not... <coughs> that was not dropped in there too long ago. And it barely caught. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> one little string. I wonder Woo! what a person can do to these. Put them in some kind of oil or something. Soak them to get the water out and make them usable again i don't know we because usually it's not that bad we usually soak stuff in gasoline that don't look bad it may work i don't know it's all bound up with yeah it's all bound up we'll have to work on it wow oh my <laughs> oh that was awesome i've been working it there's probably a christmas tree fish tree down there yeah. that that was stuck in or something, something i don't know happened. Uh, you would think that a fish probably pulled that sucker in. Someone lost it over the side. That, that would be my guess because it was right there. And I kept getting snagged in all the fishing line. Hey, you well, there we go. Me. One for the boys. It was in the mud a little bit. Yeah, but not, not a whole long time. Uh, you've been working on whatever this is for a while. I think there's a Christmas tree with a whole lot of goodies on it. <laughs> 
I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it up. I think and she broke loose. Broke loose again on you. I think she broke loose. Yep. Show sure did. Whew. Well, I'm hungry. I'm ready to get to lunch. Today wasn't a bad day. Uh, I think as far as the amount of good stuff found, I think you won. Even though I got the uh, fishing rod. No, look. Dad got the hitch. I'm the hitch. The ball. A really, really, really good crankbait. A really, really good That's popper. Yours. That's a great popper. Uh, and then this bait there. And... The stringer guaranteed that's that's a bunch of good finds right there that's good finds it but if bad. we can soak this and get this fully functional that's the find of the day yeah but i think you did better i mean i found a a, a a can top some really really old lures yep not a bunch of fancy stuff like dad's stuff here good job good I'll, job i'll tell you what besides last year collecting bottle caps and everything I have really, really, really gotten into collecting spinners. Yeah, there's spinners, those blade baits. We find so many of them, I'm telling you what, and a lot of them are really, really old and about worn out. Well, load her up, huh? Time to head out. That's one thing I don't want to lose. I have lost so many pairs of gloves in the last two years doing this stuff. I'm gonna have to put them in my truck. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, we're back at it, magnet fishing. You guys have been asking for it for the past few months. Heck, there was a lot of you that wanted uh, magnet fishing back in the winter time. And I was like, there's no way that my hands are going to do it in the winter time. It's cold. It gets cold. Yeah. Even the water this time of year, at some places, is cold. But the deeper water seems really warm right now. Oh yeah. Even today, though, there's a couple times this morning it was a little brisk. I was going, ooh, my hands are getting chilly, but it's not bad magnet fishing's back i hope you guys are glad be uh prepared for some good good old wholehearted magnet fishing videos but like i said at the beginning uh if you guys want to cop any of the guggen sunglasses or hat or anything else that they have they have tons of fishing baits bass baits soft uh crank baits all kinds of baits over there it is your number one stop for fishing apparel lures tackle line anything I'll link it all down in the description below. Remember, use code BOBBY to save yourself some cash at checkout. You can use that code as many times as you want this entire year. But subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like I said, going to be mixing it up. A little bit of uh, Lodge content coming. Yeah, a new project at the Lodge I got underway. That should be one of the next videos to come if you already haven't seen it. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism